In this video, we're going to go over some basics of geometric relations and also look at equations in SOLIDWORKS. So to get started, we're going to draw a simple sketch with a rectangle and a hole in the middle. So start your sketch on the front plane and draw a two-point rectangle in space. We're going to dimension this rectangle to three and two. From here, if we wanted to center this rectangle, we would create another dimension from this distance to here. And that distance is going to be half of our width. So let's set that to be 1.5. And we'll set this distance here, half of our height, which will be one. And that should be centered around the origin. I'm going to add a circle in the center for now and make sure it locks to that origin. And I'll give that a diameter of one. Now I'm gonna modify this rectangle when I select my three inches, change it to five inches, and my two inches, and change it to three inches, my circle is no longer centered on this rectangle. So we're going to modify this document in order to make sure that we can account for that, and we can always have a centered circle in this rectangle. So we're going to start by going to tools equations and we'll look at all of these dimensions already added if you look at these three tabs we'll notice that the third one is dimension view that has your dimensions built in so d1 was our five inch that's this right here if you hover over you'll actually see what they're called so if i exit and hover over, it'll tell you what each one of the dimensions are called. So I'll go back to my tools equations and I'm going to adjust this. I know that D1 is 5 and D2 is 3. I want this particular dimension, the 1.5, be half of the 5. So I can go right into this list here and I can say, equals and now I'm going to create an equation and I want it to be d1 sketch 1 over 2. I'll hit the green check and that should stay. Now I have an equation on my part and I've just centered it left to right. We can also do this live so let's say I want to adjust this dimension d4 I can say equals and I'll click my dimension here over 2 and now I've created another equation so anytime I change this value this will modify and stay centered I'm going to now create a couple global variables if we notice the top field here is called global variables, that means we can label something that we'd like to call on later. So instead of having all of these D1 sketch names, we can give it a name like diameter two, and we can give it a value. So I'm going to come back and create a few more circles. And when I go to dimension them, I'll call this one equals. And notice how we have a list of global variables. Diameter 2 is listed. I'm going to add that in. And this is going to always be diameter 2. I'll dimension out this piece. And I'm going to set that to my global variable as diameter 2. Now, anytime I go to my tools equations and I change 
the value at diameter two, notice how it's at a global variable and D6 is that global variable. D7 is also that global variable. So D6 is diameter two. Diameter two is quarter inch. So if I want to change this to half an inch, I'll hit enter and notice how they both change to half an inch. If I want to change that back, they will both change. So now every time D6 and D7 change is because I've changed diameter two. I'm going to add one more offset. I want to make sure the distance between these holes in the center are equal. So I'm going to add in a hole offset. And I'll make the hole offset equal to one for now. And I'll hit OK. Now I have another global variable that I can use in my sketch. I can set a distance from here to here. And I'm going to press equals, go down to my global variable list, and click hole offset. I'll check that. Same thing, I'm going to set this distance also equal to my hole offset. And that way those are always the same distance away from the center hole. I'm going to take these three holes and align them horizontal so that my sketch is defined. Now when I want to change the distance of those holes from the center, all I need to do is change the hole offset. Let's say I make that two. That means each of these holes is now two inches off of the center. The last thing I'm going to do is add a material thickness. So for my global variable, I'll add a material. And let's say this plate is an eighth of an inch. When I finish this sketch and I extrude under my direction distance, I can now put equals, go to my global variables, and click my material thickness. And this part now can live change in thickness just from this global variable. So if I go to equations and I change this, I want to use quarter inch material this time. I'll change that to quarter inch. I'll hit rebuild. And there you can see the part changed. Remember, you can always right click annotations and show feature annotations. We can see the 0.25 here from the equation. And again, if I want to change that back to 1 eighth, I'll just build. And there you go, that changed to 1 eighth. That should do it for the basis of this part and getting used to doing some parametric equations and building them into your design. Ideally, you can put all of these things in the forefront of your design before actually implementing any sketches. So good luck and have fun trying to make equations for each of your parts. Don't forget to save.